Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Minnetonka at our Minnetonka Second Swing location in the tour van today. I've got Kevin Kraft with me, who's one of our master fitters at our Wilmington store who's in town. Kevin, how's it going? It's good, it's good. Nice to be here. Yeah, good, good to, to see, see you. Second side of Second Swing here. Absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna talk club fitting today. Obviously, club fitting is a big part of what we do at Second Swing. We wish every golfer could get into a Second Swing location, get fit by someone like Kevin, play better golf. But even if you can't do that, it's still important. Absolutely. And one of the things we're going to talk today about is lie angle when it comes to your irons. And it, it's something that I think is all too often overlooked. And if it's wrong for a player, it can create a whole lot of headaches in your golf game. It can. It, it, dispersion gets really thrown off. Uh, how solidly the ball's being struck gets thrown off. So we're losing distance, we're losing accuracy. Lie angle is one of the things that we, we really want to get focused on very tightly when we're doing a fitting here. Yeah, and, and from a tendency standpoint, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Kevin, but typically if you've got a lie angle on your irons that are too upright, you're probably going to miss left. Correct. Maybe too flat, you're going to miss right. Correct. And then, of course, if you start missing left and right, as a golfer, you start thinking, oh, is it my alignment? Right, Is yeah. it my golf swing? That's where the trouble comes Then in. it just snowballs. So we want to make sure that you're, you're set up properly. Obviously, whenever we're, on, we're going to hit a golf shot, we want to be set up properly so that we're, we're aligned right. But the lie angle, if it is not correct, then we're going we're gonna to have a, an issue where maybe we're catching the heel a little bit too much and that's closing the club face down. Or if it's too flat, the toe's going to dig in. We're going to hang shots out to the right. And when you're missing, you know, lie angle wise, you can be missing 7, 14 yards just based on one or two degrees. So it's a, it's a very big thing that we want to focus on so that, you know, we get you dialed in, get that accuracy. Yeah, and the, the other thing, and you mentioned sort of the seven yards, 14 yards, just being off a degree or two. When you get down into your scoring clubs, eight iron, nine iron wedge, and you're a degree or two off, and you start missing by that wide variety, you've got very little chance of shooting good numbers. Absolutely. We get into the, the, the nines, the wedges. These are our green light clubs. These are the ones we're supposed to be knocking the flag down with. Uh, obviously, as we get into the longer clubs, you know, they're kind of the yellow light and red light clubs. Hey, you know, we got to be a little bit more cautious, but the same thing applies. When we're swinging a golf club that's longer, we're going to hit it further. That dispersion can get even worse. So uh, no matter what it is, whether it's wedges or whether it's longer irons, you know, whether we're hunting flags or just trying to get it, you know, in the vicinity of the hole, that lie angle is such an essential component. And, you know, you as a very good player, and for those who may not know, Kevin played web.com tour, has been played at an elite level. And guys at your level, how often are they getting their lie angles checked? Well, uh, so I suggest with, with people that come in for fittings, if they're getting forged clubs, I suggest they have them checked twice a year. Uh, it's, much, it's a more malleable metal. It's softer, so it's going to move a little bit more. Cast clubs, even though they're not really designed to move much, I still suggest they get checked once a year, just to make sure that everything is as it was when we, when we originally fit. Yeah, it does change. You know, you catch a rock, you catch a root. Uh, you want to take that club in and have it checked. Uh, yeah. But just do it. It's just a, just an annual thing. Just get a, just get them checked. Make sure they are where they're supposed to be. Yeah, that's great advice, Kevin. We appreciate it. Thanks. Oh, you bet. Thank you. Yeah.